everybody. It's about 11, after 11 a.m. Uh, it's October 13th, Friday the 13th today. Oh my gosh, Friday the 13th. Uh, the world's gonna end. No, it's not. It's fine. Um, I wanted to say on this glorious day that um, I started to go back into my shell of worry again. And every time I'd look at something, it would just make me worry about that. just need to have a word, like a motto or a phrase, something that just takes me out of that stage of worry and just reminds me that I'm confident, I'm cool, I don't actually need to worry about anything because it's all just like not worth worrying about, like why don't I just be confident in myself and, um, and just know that everything's okay and that down onto me, and I've really never been a worrier, I've been, been kind of a butterfly just going about life, and, you know, being all happy happy. and as I've gotten a little bit older, I worry a little bit more now, um, just because, like, I'm kind of an adult now, like, I don't really know what to, where to go, what to do, um, I don't really have that many responsibilities, it just sort of feels like I'm, like, wasting my time, because I'm not doing anything. Significant, and so I just worry a lot more than I used to, and at the same time, that worry is really only going to limit me from doing what a confident version of myself would do. So, as hard as it is sometimes to stop worrying, I know it's the better option. So, if you're having a hard time with that too, now you have a little bit more of a boost of confidence, I hope. Um, I know that works for me. I know knowing that like, if I just simply cut the worrying and just say that I am an awesome person, I am enough, I am so cool, I do so many great things, I have so many skills under my belt, I you know, have so many hobbies that I love to do and so many things that like I'm a part of and so many people that care about me and I care about. stuff to worry about, but like, just make a plan and handle it and get it done, and then you don't have to worry about it. Um, so, that helped me, and I hope that helped you. I'm going to, um, yeah, I think the reason why having a clean room is so beneficial is because, for me at least, then I don't have to look at everything and be like, oh, there's so much to do. I can finally just be like, ah, my room's clean, nothing to look at. It's peaceful for me. So, considering that fact, I've got clothes, a bunch of clothes to put away. I've got some things to put away. I've got some things, other things to put away and do away with. And, um, yeah, so, kind of, not super messy, but messy enough to where I'm kind of freaking out in my own mind, so I'm driving myself crazy, and eventually I'll go to the gym, and I probably should volunteer today, it's just because I don't really have anything else to do, and, you know, and I love, I love volunteering, huh? I like the actual part of volunteering, I like um, communicating with people, and like getting to know some people, I like getting to know people, I don't like the rules, I don't like that I feel like I'm involved with more of the rules than I am with actual people, and that's what I really have been liking about volunteering lately. Other than that, like when I was first here and having a great time volunteering, and it was like the time of my life, I loved it, and I was just on cloud nine like all the time, but it's like now I'm not on cloud nine because all I feel like I'm surrounded by is rules and what I can and can't do, and it's really been on my mind for a lot. That's also been adding to my worry. So anyways, that's just a huge long rant of things just collecting and processing and 
putting things together and growing every single day. So I hope you guys are doing the same, and I hope you guys are having a good day, too. So I'll see you guys soon. Hey, everybody. Yay. So, <clears throat> me and Marlo are getting ready to go change my tires. I gotta go get my tires changed. Sucking it up, and I'm gonna go do it. Um, something I've been putting off for like a month or so now, and it's like, it's just gotta get done, because raining season's coming pretty soon. Hate to admit it. Um, and I gotta go get my tires changed, because the two front tires are balding a lot, and they look really flat in my opinion, um, uh, and they're already, like, low profile, so, like, I gotta go get them changed, so, <clears throat> so, yeah, that's, um, gonna get done today, and I got my trusty widow assist, oh, my Lord, it's going with me, too, so we're both getting ready right now, and this is my outfit for now. It was those gray pants earlier that have pockets on the side, but I just decided to wear all black and wear these instead. And I like having my hair half up, half down, just so it's still showing off the length of my hair, but it's not in my face the way I don't like it to be all down and in my face. I like it to be up and out of the way like that. And so, and then of course I have to pair it with my black shoes. My black work shoes, actually, but whatever. I I like them, actually. Surprisingly, I usually don't like my black shoes, but anyways, I'm going on a huge rant. Basically, um, I'm gonna get my tires changed, we're gonna go get her some boba, and then, uh, maybe go to the bank, maybe some other errands, go to the store or the mall or something like that, but I do really want to go to the gym too. I'm gonna find, gonna go find a killer workout and go work out. I worked out yesterday and worked my arms and that felt really good and now I got to work something else. I don't want to work legs anymore. I gotta do that a little bit. I don't want to work legs off that often anymore. I already like the size that they are. I don't think that they need to get any more musclier than they are. I think it's my upper body that I need to get a little bit more in balance and muscly. So, yeah. Alright, see you guys soon.